One of the biggest announcements at Mobile World Congress this year is the Samsung Galaxy S7. At first glance, it looks very similar to the last model, but there are a few major improvements. This time around, we've got two very different models. The standard Galaxy S7 with a 5.1 inch screen and the S7 Edge that comes with a bigger 5.5 inch curved display. Both are sporting a slight taper around back like the Note 5, and paired with the aluminum and glass build, it's undoubtedly one of the most premium looking phones out there. Samsung also brought back a couple highly requested features, including a micro SD card slot and the return of waterproofing. This is a big one. The Galaxy S7 can be submerged in a meter and a half of water for 30 minutes, and thankfully there aren't any annoying flaps over the ports. Inside, it's no slouch, with the brand new Snapdragon 820, 4GB of RAM, and much bigger batteries, which should help deliver the longevity the last gen lacked. It's also rocking a new 12 megapixel camera. It gives up a bit of detail for a wider lens and bigger pixels, which should help massively in low light. One of the biggest surprises at NWC is the LG G5. It's rocking a new aluminum build that feels a lot nicer than the G4. It's surprisingly light, and with a smaller 5.3 inch screen, it fits really nicely in the hand. The design is a massive improvement. Not only does it look great, but this might be one of the most comfortable phones I've ever used. Instead of rear buttons, we've got a fingerprint sensor that doubles as the power button. While the display might not be AMOLED, it still looks fantastic, with a 1440p resolution and it gets seriously bright. Paired with Android 6.0 and LG's scan, it's still a bit too far from stock Android for my taste, but it's totally usable. Look around back and you'll find something a little different. Two cameras. It has a normal 16 megapixel sensor that's paired with a wide angle camera to give you two totally different looks for photos. This is a really cool idea that gives you what's almost as good as optical zoom without a giant camera on the back. Probably the coolest feature is the removable battery. The bottom of the phone pops off if you need to swap batteries, but you can also add what LG calls friends. These are modules that can add new features like this Bang & Olufsen headphone amp which promises hugely improved audio performance. There's also the LG Cam Plus, which not only includes a larger battery, but extra controls and a grip for the camera. This is a really cool idea to expand your phone without bolting giant accessories on. Something I absolutely wasn't expecting is the HP Elite X3. While Windows Phone has been flatlining lately, clearly no one told HP, and they threw basically everything at the Elite. This is a giant 6 inch phone that's packed with tech, like the Snapdragon 820 from the G4 and S7, and a monster 4150mAh battery. It might not be the nicest looking phone out there, but it has a trick up its sleeve. Continuum. Plug it into the USB-C dock, and the Elite transforms into a Windows 10 PC. Hook up a monitor, mouse and keyboard, and you're ready to go. Unfortunately, since it's ARM based, you won't have full Windows 10 to use normal apps, but you still got a browser and optimized versions of some things like Word. This was an early prototype, so performance was a bit sketchy, and it's missing a couple features like a retina scanner that should be on the final version, but the idea of having one device that can be both your phone and computer has a ton of potential. So which was your favorite phone that was announced at MWC? Let me know in the comments below, and I will catch you in the next one.